welcome to my youtube channel so today in this video we're going to be talking about a tool called smack smack stands for sequential model based algorithm configuration it is used for optimizing the algorithm parameters and tuning the hyperparameters of the model in an efficient way because it uses bayesian optimization at the back end so it does it in a very efficient way so in this video we're going to be using a random forest as a base model and we're going to be improvising the parameters of the random forest by using this tool called smack so let's just see how does it work so as an initial setup we need to pip install the smack so let's just do it now let's install pandas and the data set from the sklint or data set library so here we're gonna be using a Boston dataset uh, for our analysis of this uh, smack. So let's just do it. Now we'll convert the columns from the Boston dataset into data frame. So let's just do it. Now we'll convert the target column from the Boston dataset to a data frame. So let's just do it. Now we'll join the two dataset what we have created right now and we'll combine it and form a proper data set. So let's just do it. And we will just view few of the lines. So this is what Boston data set consists of. Now we'll use uh, train underscore test split to split the data set into train and test. Here we'll be gonna be using an 88 to 20% rule to split the data set into train and test. And we're gonna be using a render state of 42. So let's just do it. Now here comes the important part where we're looking about smack to how to tune the render forest. So before going through this uh, whole of the code, we'll just see what are, what are these libraries are getting imported. So first uh, library, which we are going to be using over here is, is logging. So logging will help us to get the information which are being executed at the back end. So it will just display whole of the information which is which is getting displayed at the back end so we'll just we'll, we'll get a view over it and we'll get to know what is happening and then next we are we are going to import a numpy library now we now at the next we're going to be importing a config space library so this config space library is going to be uh, installed at the back end when you install a spec so it can be seen over here is that this config space is getting installed at the back end when you install smack so what does this config space does for us is it collects the all type of hyperparameters and store it in a collection form and then we can use these hyperparameters for training our model so next now we are going to be importing a random forest regression from the uh, sklm library the next we are importing make scorer from the masculine.matrix to make a proper uh, cost function on which we are going to evaluate random forest like rmse mse mae so likewise we're going to be creating a cost function to evaluate our model and similarly we're going to be importing cross well score from the sklearn model and uh, and in the next we're going to be importing smack for hpo which stands for smack for hyper optimization so, so this function will help you to optimize the algorithm so and you can import this algorithm from spec dot fake dot smack underscore hp underscore fake so this is where this function is present so you are importing from smack and the next library which you're gonna be and the next function which you're gonna be importing is scenario from the smack so this scenario is nothing but it help us to configure the smack so we will see in the future code how does this scenario help us to configure the smack so next what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making a function which will load the random forest model and its parameters and we then we will evaluate it evaluate it so let's just see how does this function works so we have defined a user defined function rf underscore from cfg which takes as an input cfg 
comma seed so cfg what does this cfg works uh, what does this cfg is for cfg is for configuration chosen by mac so it it takes all the configuration which are being used by mac and it will use those configurations like configurations like uh, we have we have mentioned in a configuration space and configuration space is for hyperparameters so we are talking about the hyperparameters over configuration so this is what our cfg stands for so it will take uh, hyperparameters from con configuration space and it will utilize those hyperparameters for tuning it so this this cfg stands for configuration space and the next is seed so seed is nothing but it's a random state which we which a random forest gonna be using it so uh, this is how a function is getting defined now uh, we are using a random forest regressor and its parameters to uh, to configure it with the configuration space so here we can see cfg underscore cfg uh, num underscore trees and we, we, we are saving it in a underscore estimators so this is what it is doing it's only we're doing with this for all other uh, uh, parameters in the random forest regressor and here we are men mentioning the random for random underscore state seeds so at the end we're going to be uh, defining an rmse to uh, evaluate our model and the next uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make this rmse as a proper cause function by using a make underscore scorer so to use this as a cost function so this is what we are making a cost function by ourselves and we'll make it and and we'll properly use it by using a make underscore scorer this is from um sql and every so this is what we are doing it over here so next what we're going to do is we're, we're going to be using cross underscore when underscore score to evaluate our model on uh, different cross holds and to generalize the model on the given uh, parameters so this is what we are doing it and uh, we are we are giving an rfr which is our regressor model and we are giving the train values and we are giving a train uh, target train values and we are converting into we are reshaping into actually we are converting into uh, a 1d array and we are giving a 10 folds cross validation is called 10 folds and we are scoring on the basis of rmse underscore which we have defined it over here our own uh, our own defined uh, cost function so this is what it is doing and it is returning the mean score of the 10 cross folds so this is what a whole function is doing over here now the next step is to initiate the logging to check the information to print the information what the model is doing at the back end so this set of code will help you to get the information getting printed so next step is to prepare a configuration space so here we're gonna be importing our all the required hyperparameters with a, with a particular range so we're gonna be storing it over here so you can compare this configuration space with the uh, with the grid search cv where you provide the parameters in the dictionary form so there you provide a different different uh, values for for particular parameters so this is this is what you can with you can compare with and this configuration space consists of varieties of hyperparameter which are which are going to be used by our model and in a particular range so let's just see what does it contains and uh, and majorly one thing is more over here we, i can tell you is that uh, the hyperparameters over here uh, could be of any type like categorical float or uh, integer so we need to define in that manner in the in that particular type manner so right now we're gonna be uh, so right now we're gonna be uh, seeing uh, a categorical hyperparameter which we are which we are defining and uh, and let's just see how does it work so as a first uh, hyperparameter we, we have a categorical hyperparameter in our random forest so that categorical hyperparameter is nothing but a bootstrapping parameter in our random forest so the uh, so it consists of true or false as a value so we have defined it over here and uh, uh, so we have defined over here inside the categorical hyperparameter function and we set the default value as true and we have added this hyperparameter what we have created do underscore bootstrapping into the uh, configuration space similarly we're going to be adding 
all the integer and floating hyperparameters into the configuration space by using these functions by using uniform integer parameters function and and uniform floating hyperparameter function so this is how it can be done and at the end we can add these uh, hyperparameters into the configuration space by using uh, cs dot add underscore hyperparameter function so this is what it does so this whole uh, set of code help us to uh, get the range of the hyperparameters defined for a particular hyperparameters and we'll store those hyperparameters in a configuration space and now we'll use those configuration space uh, parameters which we have defined right now and and we're going to be using those uh, those hyperparameters to configure the model so the next function is scenario scenario will help us to configure the uh, smack so uh, configure uh, configure the smack in the sense is it will it will uh, get the timings runtime runtime limit it will initiate the runtime limit for the uh, for the smack to work it will uh, initiate the whether the model is deterministic or not it will uh, limit the memory limit so these things are being provided inside the scenario object so this is how a scenario will help us to configure the uh, the smack algorithm so at the end we'll we'll store this in the scenario variable so the next step is to optimize the algorithm so for this we're going to be using smack for hpo function and inside that we have parameters called scenario so we're going to be giving scenario which is used for configuring our smack algorithm and we're going to be giving our random state for uh, for for a smack for hpo and now we're going to be using uh this now now we're going to be giving our defined function that is rf underscore from cfg which we have defined it over here so this will use this whole model and it will check the parameters from it and it will return all those uh, best parameters which have been selected at the back end by using bayesian optimization so let's just do it how does it happens we'll say it so the next step is to check the default values what we have given it over here so these are default values we have associated with each and every uh, hyperparameters before assigning it to the configuration space so we are just viewing it over here so this step is just viewing for default values what we have given it if you execute this step this whole step so you will get the information about the default values so the next uh, step is to optimize the uh, algorithm so for this we have a function called optimize inside the smack so we'll use that and if that function doesn't work so we can use a another function called smack.solver.incubant so we'll use these two uh, these two functions to get it to, to get the optimization done so let's just do it it would take few seconds So after execution of this, uh, after optimization, after using the optimization function from Smack, we can get the information printed over here. And uh, at the end, you can see that the best value, the best parameters are being selected over here. So you can use these parameters in a random forest for your optimization, and you can increase the performance of the model. So now we're going to be using these uh, parameters to train our random forest model. So I'm going to be using these uh, parameters over here to initiate our model training with these parameters. So I have mentioned uh, uh, these parameters over here with, in, within the random forest regression. And at the end, the, and the next step is to fit the model on the training and test set. And after that, we'll print the result by using these hyperparameters. So this is what a prediction you can get after using smack uh, algorithm at the back end for optimizing the random forest model. So, so the next question would be that where to use this smack algorithm. So this smack algorithm could be used where the hyperparameter optimization becomes very, very hectic. So you can use it over there to optimize the algorithm in a proper way and just you have to give the input the input range of the particular parameter and you could get the whole of the best parameters from the defined input uh, range so this is how you can do it and i hope you have enjoyed this video 
थैंक यू